Nope. You guys, have you guys seen this video, The Problem with Soul Slag? Seen this recommended to me quite a few times, and I never gotten around to watch it, so... Here we go! What kind of Soul Slag uh, games did you all play? I played Elden Ring, I played Hollow Knight, I played a bit of Bloodborne, so gotta finish that though. And Dark Souls 3. Oh my god, it's the journalist! It's the fucking journalist! From Software's Dark Souls needs no introduction. Yeah. Recently crowned the ultimate game of all time, the series is praised for its intricate level design, satisfying combat, and captivating world. But you're probably most familiar with Dark Souls for its notorious difficulty. Yep. Yeah. Alpha! Look! Look! It's out there! Oh my god! <gasps> oh no, the cat! <laughs> I'm so surprised how chill the cat stayed. That means that dude needs to be raging on a daily base, man. That dude needs to be raging on a daily base that that cat is so unbothered. Holy shit. Oh, now he left. He had enough. In fact, these games are so hard that every single challenging game that came after is actually paying homage to Dark Souls, the first hard game. See, we all know that the very concept the of difficulty dancer, didn't exist before Hidetaka Miyazaki invented it in 2009 with the release of Demon Souls. Before that, video games were all just brain dead the easy. I mean, look at this. Nah. The games that, that they basically play themselves. But then, in comes Demon Souls. Oh yeah, and I'll play Demon Souls itself. I could play it uh, if I get a PlayStation. Um, plus subscription. Difficulty, yo. Then, two years later, Miyazaki shits out another hood classic, and game developers went wild. Bonfires, stamina bars, bloodstains, Estus flasks. If it was featured <laughs> in Dark Souls, then it would also be featured in the next 100 games that you played. Have you all seen the crap uh, 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 Souls-like game that's been played recently? I was thinking of checking that out. I, I saw Esmon play it. Holy shit, like... It looks fun. <laughs> it looks so goofy and but fun. we needed a name. A name for these games, these these copycats that were like souls. Well... Souls-likes. Well... Medieval fantasy setting. Souls-like. Invincibility frame. Souls-like. <laughs> difficulty. Souls-like. Constipation. Souls-like. Souls Wife cheated on you. Souls-like. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What's that? Oh. You live in an abusive household? <laughs> souls like parenting. Now. I guess I had a souls like upbringing then. Holy shit. Oh, of course I'm being facetious, but there really seems to be a bit of a naming crisis surrounding games that share even the slightest bit in common with Dark Souls. There's just this obsession with labeling everything that's even remotely similar as being derivative. Even among From Software's other IPs, they just can't escape those same shackles. I mean, first it was just Demon Souls, and then it was the Souls games. After that, it was Souls Born, and after that, it's Souls Born Key. Yeah, so that's you, going too you far. Wrote this, this is a thing that you wrote. Look, wait, wait, it's wait, undeniable wait, that Dark say, Souls hey, is hey, one. Hey, of hey, 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 go back. This game looks amazing, like an open world adventure crossed with the highest evolution of Souls Born Kiro, right? This is a I think if you just said Souls Born, everyone would know what you meant. The the prominent form games, yes. Souls Born Kiro will never be a thing like Souls Born. Shame on you. Go sit in the corner and think about what you did actually. The thing that you wrote The balls it took for this man to say Souls Born Kiro, incredible. Wrote? Look. It's undeniable that Dark Souls is one of the most influential games of our time. The current gaming landscape would look incredibly different without it, and several games genuinely are just carbon copies. But a handful of problems arise when taking one major title and turning it into an entire genre. Take Roguelike, a genre yeah. named after the 1980 dungeon crawler, Rogue. Unlike Dark Souls, however, Rogue didn't spawn an entire series. 
and was released over 40 years ago. So today it's not surprising when Rogue isn't the first game that comes to mind when you hear the word roguelike. That game could be faster than light, slay the spire, or for some people, even Hades. For me, the game that I think of when I hear roguelike is Binding of Isaac. Not a roguelike. Oh! Whoa. So, I've just been kindly informed that Binding of Isaac is in fact not a roguelike, but a rogue light. Initially oh. called rogue. There it is. Uh, yeah, and Hades also is a rogue light, from what I heard. Don't get overused. I remember the same thing happened to RPG games when everything, even FPS games, had to have the term has RPG elements, and everything had the game of the front. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, every game where you have to dodge a parry or stamina bar uh, sorts like, I, yeah, personally, I think it has to have a lot of the same elements and the high difficulty for it to be a sorts like. Like likes, rogue likes are rogue likes like. that are like rogue, but not as like rogue as rogue likes. When you're categorizing a game based on what it derives from, is derived from, the label starts to lose all meaning. Rogue light is a genre born from games being too different from the original title to be called roguelikes, so why even keep rogue in the name? This kind of naming convention stifles creativity by suggesting that games should stick as close to the original as possible, and for every box on the checklist that a game doesn't tick, we'll just add another like at the end of the category. All <laughs> games are derivative to some extent. There's no modern game that doesn't borrow anything from its predecessors, even Dark Souls. From Software didn't invent the stamina bar or parrying, That's and true. Corpse Running has been a staple of MMOs long before Dark Souls was even a concept swimming around in Miyazaki's nutsack. No. Art inspires and genres overlap. It's the same with any medium of entertainment. While there are definitely landmark films, none of them have had their titles baked into their respective genres. That's not to say that oh they've God. never been copied, but after the wave of clones came innovation. Imagine if every movie with the ton of gore fuck? in a crash zoom was called a Tarantino like. Or look at hip hop, I mean half of all rappers would be called Tupac likes. It's exactly <laughs> this phenomenon of derivative content mixing and borrowing from previous media that leads to imaginative ideas. Dude, Metro Lies of P, I also played Lies, Lies of P actually. Lies of P is so good. I haven't finished the game. I don't know why. I think I was scared of finishing it because I didn't want it to be over. House friend told me I'm almost done with the game, and I just didn't want it to be over, so I just kind of stopped playing. I'm stupid. Metroidvania is a portmanteau of Metroid and Castlevania, and is used to. Speaking of Hades, Hades who literally just entered early access. It's like thirty dollars. It is. We should check it out after the game. After the game, remind me again. Describe games that borrow from both series. Or so the Wikipedia definition says. In actuality, it's used to refer to any game with a sprawling world that has certain areas gated behind abilities, upgrades, and items, like Super Metroid. The term came into use after the release of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which featured a lot of these uh, Metroid-like elements. Oh, okay. Similarly, the game devs behind the quote-unquote so so Souls-like Metroidvania so Hollow Knight had little to no experience with Dark Souls before making the game. And although they were inspired by Metroid, creating a Metroidvania wasn't something that they set out to do. Their inspiration came from various different games, but instead of trying to emulate anyone in particular... Hollow Knight is unden- like, Hollow Knight is undeniably uh, Souls-like. <laughs> Like, yeah, it has the platforming like in the Metroid game, right? But looking away from that, like when I first play, played Hollow Knight, I was having the same kind of feeling when I first played a Souls like game. It was the same kind of feeling. And I bet a lot of you guys would agree with me. Yo, Lumi, what's up? Don't worry about it. Welcome in. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all, man. <laughs> But Hollow Knight, like, from the sudden difficulty in bosses, from the way you play the game, the mechanics, everything, felt so good. If it wasn't 3D, nobody would argue. I know, right? They focused on...
Hollow Knight is so cool, it's calming despite its difficulty. It is, isn't it? Oh, I love that game. I'm. We all are still waiting for Silk Song, man. Silk Song win. Silk Song win. I'm trying to make a good ass game. And spoiler alert, they made a good ass game. It's when it. developers stick firmly to a blueprint, they're designing backwards, creating a game that conforms to established game mechanics oh, rather than area, designing man. elements that will best complement their game. I never went to this area. I could not. Puckering? Puckering was my worst skill. I I sucked at puckering. Silk Song isn't real, I can't hurt you. <laughs> Hollow Knight stream when the complete ending. Uh, the White Palace. No, I could not deal with the White Palace. I couldn't. I could not. Mm -mm. Too much pain. Game. Greece is a game that was originally intended to be a Metroidvania, but the creators wanted it to be accessible to people even if they've never played a video game, so they opted for a more linear approach. Linear the is the antithesis of a Metroidvania. The devs would have to reimagine the formula in order to realize the vision they had for their game, and they did a damn good job. That game is so pretty, what the fuck? Wait, wait, what is this game? Does it say it? Greece has five levels Greece. representing each stage of grief. You progress linearly Greece? through them, acquiring Greece? a new ability in Greece? each one. The game features no combat and little exploration. The abilities oh, okay. are largely used for platforming and puzzle challenges. Each level is designed around just the abilities that you have at the time, so there's no backtracking. With progression to each new oh. level, you restore color to a beautiful watercolor painted world until you're at the last stage and finally overcome your grief. Grease borrows Metroidvania elements and uses them to tell a powerful story through little more than its gameplay. Rather than force unnecessary mechanics to fill a checklist, Grease takes only what it needs from the genre and still manages to capture the essence of having a protagonist that evolves over time and grows to interact with the world in different ways. And that is what's at the core of any genre. Just a few unchangeable factors that really capture the heart of what unifies those group of games. Wow. So, what's the soul of Dark Souls? Mark Brown of Game Maker's Toolkit made an excellent video in 2017 on the topic. He suggests that the genre should be based around the elements that give Dark Souls its slow, deliberate combat. But even from software's other IPs don't entirely adhere to those elements. Bloodborne has faster, more aggressive combat, and this is even more- To me, what makes the souls like, right? What makes the souls like to you guys? When I think of the souls like, I think of big, difficult bosses, obviously a stamina bar, big bosses with a big boss bar, <laughs> difficulty spikes, definitely. Um... This kind of comic, being able to parry, exploration, definitely. Not necessarily big weapons, I wouldn't say. A health, um, like, uh, Estus system, kind of. Bonfire system, 100%. Respawn with said health flask, yes. Um... What do you call a corpse running? But you have to recover your souls. That. Stats. Hmm. I never actually thought about stats itself that way. Like, yeah, okay, fair. Like, using your souls to level up kind of thing. Dodge roll. <laughs> actually. Actually, the dodge rolling. You're right. Progression being driven by play exploration with little other guidance offered. Yeah, definitely the little guidance offered. Definitely that one. 100%. The story being told throughout the game itself and not throughout the narrator. So when are you playing Bloodborne? Soon-ish. <laughs> Soon-ish. When I get a... We're playing Bloodborne when I get a... um. A capture card. When I get a capture card, we're playing Bloodborne. Uh, wink, wink, it's on my throne. Wink, wink. <laughs> when there's no directive, yeah. Yeah, exactly, that one. Game not 
Uh, game not holding player's hand, yeah. The Shovel Knight Assault Sack. I don't know what Shovel Knight is. I hate being inside in the spring with a cat makeup. But, eh. True, after Sekiro's yeah. release in 2019, Sucks. which got rid of the stamina bar entirely, I would argue that the element that ties these games together is not their combat, but their core gameplay loop. The cycle of encountering a challenging obstacle, dying, and throwing yourself at it again and again, yeah. armed with 100%. nothing more than your knowledge of previous attempts. No Estus Flask, Stamina Bar, or Dodge Roll necessary. That core gameplay is what makes these games so engaging and really makes you feel like you have the exaggerated These swagger of a medieval yeah, fantasy protagonist. So good, of course, we'd also have to rename the genre and ditch the whole trend of just adding like at the end of a title. Games have already evolved past just being souls likes, and it's time that the language we use to refer to them does the same. I personally think I like them being called the souls like because it plays a homage to dark souls itself because dark souls dark souls alongside with demon souls in that case has spawned and created a genre on its own in that way i think it's great that being called souls like hey if you made it to the end of the video uh thank you for listening to me talk my shit this is just a topic that really really grinds my gears really rustles my jimmies if you will so i just figured i'd make a video about it but uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. If you like the video, like the video. Uh, so help video, the video get so seen. Video. If you dislike the video, then uh, leave a comment because that also helps it get seen. <laughs> leave it a dislike. Uh, send this to that one friend who won't shut the hell up about Dark Souls and subscribe hey, to see Sam, more videos like this. Sam, I'm just starting out, bro. but I have a ton of ideas lined up for future videos, uh, not just on games, but like go, movies, guys. anime, shit go. like that. And that uh, the new like. Soulsborne Eki Rodin ring game is dropping next week so i might do a video <laughs> on that so uh definitely stick around and i'll see you in the next one amazing video